Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen, and look. There is one example. What does Jane want to put on? I'm cold, Dad. Look, it's starting to snow outside. Oh yes, but you've got your nice red sweater on, Jane. I know, and I can put my new coat on too. I love it. Then get your scarf and go outside and play. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Where's Jim now? Where's Jim, Mom? Is he at his friend's house? No, he's at the store. He's buying some bread for me. Oh, okay. Well, here's his book. Can you take it back to the library for him? Okay. Two. What's Peter's favorite sport? I love riding horses. What's your favorite sport, Peter? I like fishing, but I like sailing most of all. Do you? Why? Because I love being on the sea. Three. What can Lucy have to drink? I'm thirsty, Grandpa. Can I have a glass of lemonade? Sorry, Lucy. We haven't got any, and we haven't got any tea. Oh, I never drink that. I don't like it. Have you got any orange juice? Yes, we have. Here you are. Four. Where are Uncle Nick's roller skates? Let's go roller skating, Uncle Nick. Where are your roller skates?、Uh, under the stairs, I think. Oh no, they're on the balcony. Shall I get them? Yes, and get yours too. They're in the hall. Five. Which girl is Sue? There's Sue, Mum. Look, she's playing hockey. Do you mean the girl with the curly fair hair? Sue's got short brown hair, and it's straight, Mum. I see. Wow, she's good at running. Now listen to part four again. One. Where's Jim now? Where's Jim, Mom? Is he at his friend's house? No, he's at the store. He's buying some bread for me. Oh, okay. Well, here's his book. Can you take it back to the library for him? Okay. Two. What's Peter's favorite sport? I love riding horses. What's your favorite sport, Peter? I like fishing, but I like sailing most of all. Do you? Why? Because I love being on the sea. Three. What can Lucy have to drink? I'm thirsty, Grandpa. Can I have a glass of lemonade? Sorry, Lucy. We haven't got any, and we haven't got any tea. Oh, I never drink that. I don't like it. Have you got any orange juice? Yes, we have. Here you are. Four. Where are Uncle Nick's roller skates?
Let's go roller skating, Uncle Nick. Where are your roller skates?、Uh, under the stairs, I think. Oh no, they're on the balcony. Shall I get them? Yes, and get yours too. They're in the hall. Five. Which girl is Sue? There's Sue, Mum. Look, she's playing hockey. Do you mean the girl with the curly fair hair? Sue's got short brown hair, and it's straight, Mum. I see. Wow, she's good at running. That is the end of part four. Part two. Listen. And look, there is one example. I went to a farm for my work yesterday, Sally. Wow, we're learning about farms at school. Are you? Yes. What animals did they have there? Sheep, hundreds of sheep. Can you see the answer? Now you listen. And write. One. What was the name of the farm, Dad? It's called Key Farm. Do you know it? No, but I can write about it. How do you spell that? K, E, Y. Oh, Key. Yes. Two. The farm was very big. Was it? How many fields are there on the farm? There are twenty-two. Twenty-two fields? That's a lot. Yes, the farmer works every day of the week, and he's tired every evening. Three. Do they plant vegetables there? I talked to the farmer about that. He plants carrots. People buy them from the market. They're very good to eat. What about potatoes? Do they have those in the fields too? No, only carrots. Four. But they have some fruit trees. Apple trees? No, but I saw lots of pear trees. The farmer makes a very nice pear drink from them. Did you try some? Yes, I did. Five. Can you take me to the farm, Dad, to help me with my homework? Yes, we can go there with Mom. In the car? Yes, we can go there next weekend. Next weekend? Great. Now listen to part two again. One. What was the name of the farm, Dad? It's called Key Farm. Do you know it? No, but I can write about it. How do you spell that? K, E, Y. Oh, Key. Yes. Two. The farm. Was very big. Was it? How many fields are there on the farm? There are twenty-two. Twenty-two fields? That's a lot. Yes, the farmer works every day of the week, and he's tired every evening. Three. Do they plant vegetables there? 
I talked to the farmer about that. He plants carrots. People buy them from the market. They're very good to eat. What about potatoes? Do they have those in the fields too? No, only carrots. Four. But they have some fruit trees. Apple trees? No, but I saw lots of pear trees. The farmer makes a very nice pear drink from them. Did you try some? Yes, I did. Five. Can you take me to the farm, Dad, to help me with my homework? Yes, we can go there with Mom. In the car? Yes, we can go there next weekend. Next weekend? Great. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Zoe slept at her grandparents' house all week. They went to lots of places. What did Zoe do in these places? Hi, Zoe. What did you do with your grandparents? We did lots of things in different places. They live in a village. Oh, brilliant! Did you go for lots of walks there? Yes, we did. Great. Can you see the letter C? Now you listen, and write a letter in each box. One. Is there a cafe near your grandparents' house? Yes, there is. We went there one day. What did you eat there? We only had a drink. Grandpa had a coffee, and I had a banana milkshake. It was good. Two. Another day, we went to the mountain. Did you catch a bus there? No, we drove there in Grandpa's new car. We stopped to have a picnic, and a bird sat on the blanket. It was hungry too. <laughs> Three. And we went to a big lake one day. Did you swim there? No, I'm good at swimming, but it was too cold. So what did you do? Grandpa sat down on a rock because he was tired, but I climbed on the rocks. I wasn't tired. Four. And what was the weather like? One day it was very sunny, and we went to a beautiful waterfall. Sometimes you can see rainbows near them. Did you see one? No, we didn't. But I took lots of photos. Five. Was it sunny every day? No. One day it was windy and it rained. That day we went to the cinema. Did you enjoy the film? Yes, I laughed a lot. We also had chocolate ice cream. Oh, I love that. I do too. Now listen to part three again. One. Is there a cafe near your grandparents' house? Yes, there is. We went there one day. What did you eat there? We only had a drink. Grandpa had a coffee, and I had a banana milkshake. It was good. Two. Another day, we went to the mountain. Did you catch a bus there? No, we drove there in Grandpa's new car. 
We stopped to have a picnic and a bird sat on the blanket. It was hungry too. <laughs> Three. And we went to a big lake one day. Did you swim there? No, I'm good at swimming, but it was too cold. So, what did you do? Grandpa sat down on a rock because he was tired. But I climbed on the rocks. I wasn't tired. Four. And what was the weather like? One day it was very sunny. And we went to a beautiful waterfall. Sometimes you can see rainbows near them. Did you see one? No, we didn't. But I took lots of photos. Five. Was it sunny every day? No. One day it was windy and it rained. That day we went to the cinema. Did you enjoy the film? Yes. I laughed a lot. We also had chocolate ice cream. Oh, I love that. I do too. That is the end of part three. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen, and look. There is one example. Are the people in this picture pirates? Yes, they are. They're on their boat. Oh yes, I can see an island too. Look, in the window. Can I color that? Okay. Color it pink. Can you see the pink island? This is an example. Now you listen, and color, and write. One. Would you like to color the pirate girl's shirt now? All right. It's too big for her, I think. What color shall I do it? Color it orange. Okay. Now color the kitten. The one on the pirate's arm? No, the one on the box. Okay. Shall I color it yellow? All right. Okay. There. That looks better. Three. Would you like to write a word too? That's a great idea. Can I write the word water? Yes, please. Write water on the bottle on the bed. Okay, I'm writing that now. Four. Can you color one of the maps next? Which one? The one on the table. Okay. Can I color it gray? I like that color. No. Do it green, please. Oh. Okay. Five. Oh, and now I'd like to color a shell. All right. Color the one that's on top of the present. Do it purple, please. 
Okay, I'm doing that now. Brilliant! Well done. Now listen to part five again. One. Would you like to color the pirate girl's shirt now? All right. It's too big for her, I think. What color shall I do it? Color it orange. Okay. Two. Now color the kitten. The one on the pirate's arm? No, the one on the box. Okay. Shall I color it yellow? All right. Okay. There. That looks better. Three. Would you like to write a word too? That's a great idea. Can I write the word water? Yes, please. Write water on the bottle on the bed. Okay, I'm writing that now. Four. Can you color one of the maps next? Which one? The one on the table. Okay. Can I color it gray? I like that color. No. Do it green, please. Oh. Okay. Five. Oh, and now I'd like to color a shell. All right. Color the one that's on top of the present. Do it purple, please. Okay. I'm doing that now. Brilliant. Well done. That is the end of the movers' listening test. Cambridge English Movers One, published by Cambridge University Press and Cambridge English Language Assessment, 2017. This recording is copyright. CD Two. Test Three. Hello. This is the Cambridge English Movers Listening Test. Part one. Now look at the picture. Listen, and look. There is one example.
This is a photo of our park, Mrs Fine. My brother and I often go for a walk there with our dog. That's nice. But who are all the people? I don't know all of them, but the girl who's flying the kite is called Vicky. The girl with the kite? Yes, that's right. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Who's that? The woman who's waving. That's Mary. Who's she waving at? Me, I think. I took this photo. Two. And that boy there is called Jack. Which boy? The one who's playing next to the water. Oh, he looks surprised. You're right, he does. Three. Can you see the person in the chair? The one who's wearing glasses? Yes. That's Daisy. She's reading a comic. She's often in the park when I'm there. Oh! And who's the man next to her? I don't know. Four. What about the boy who's playing the hopping game? You mean Paul? Is that his name? Yes. He is on the number four square now. Look, it's a great game. I can see that. Five. And there's Fred. He's in my class at school. Is he? Yes, he's getting the picnic things out of the bag. Oh, yes. He's getting out plates and glasses. Yes, he is. Now listen to part one again. One. Who's that? The woman who's waving. That's Mary. Who's she waving at? Me, I think. I took this photo. Two. And that boy there is called Jack. Which boy? The one who's playing next to the water. Oh, he looks surprised. You're right, he does. Three. Can you see the person in the chair? The one who's wearing glasses? Yes, that's Daisy. She's reading a comic. She's often in the park when I'm there. Oh, and who's the man next to her? I don't know. Four. What about the boy who's playing the hopping game? You mean Paul? Is that his name? Yes, he is on the number four square now. Look. It's a great game. I can see that. Five. And there's Fred. He's in my class at school. Is he? Yes. He's getting the picnic things out of the bag. Oh, yes. He's getting out plates and glasses. Yes, he is. That is the end of part one.